battery's flat. Right, bump start, clutch in. Second gear, pick up some speed. And that does it. <laughs> that is how you jump start a motorbike. <laughs> Yeah, I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure why the battery was flat then. Um, I did have the bike... I'll turn the ignition on a couple of minutes before I really started it, but it shouldn't have been enough to flatten it. OK, the bike... Yeah, no, the bike's only been standing for a day. Normally it's fine. It can be left, you know... I can leave it a week and it will still fire up first time and stuff. So maybe my battery's on the way out and it couldn't be because I left the heated grips on. One, because I haven't had the heated grips on, and two, the Oxford has the battery saver mode, so it cuts them off anyway if I do leave them on. So it's not that, and there's nothing else that can be left on. Everything else is all off the ignition. Anyway, today's mission, whether I like it or not, is to head over to Shoreham, to Wiimoto, pick up a new sprocket and chain kit and then head back and into Worthing to Sussex Rolling Road where I normally get uh, these little jobs done and uh, get them to fit it and uh, have a new sprocket and chain because uh, they need doing. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit overdue if I'm honest. The chain is pretty much had it. It is, I, I checked it the other day and it, I was, there was a, quite, it was quite loose anyway so I tightened the, um, tightened the slack up with the wheel and stuff. Uh, but there was still a lot of side-to-side -side movement in it. So, yeah, it is a bit knackered. And uh, I had a look at the sprockets. So the rear sprocket isn't too bad, but the front, spro the front sprocket has gone a bit, uh, a little bit shark-finned. So uh, it's time to get them done. And uh, they've lasted quite well, to be honest. They've, um, they've been on since the end of March last year. I had them done just before the winter Svengali ride last year. And I'm getting these done just before this summer Svengali ride this year. Now, it's the sort of job I would probably take on myself. Um, I'm not sure how hard it is um, I th and what tools I would need because I don't think I've got all the tools required. Yeah, maybe next time I'll, uh, I'll give it a go myself because hopefully by next time I'll have uh, the backup of a second bike. So if I do get anything wrong, it's no big deal because I can still ride. Now I did try and book it in at Alf's Motorcycles, right here. Unfortunately for me, uh, the workshop's fully booked for like three weeks, so I had no chance. Um, but I thought if I get it booked in there, I could take something out for a test ride. Just to have a bit of a go on while the work's getting done. Because the place I'm getting this fitted, they're just a, a garage really, they're not, uh, they haven't got a showroom. Or any bikes, or they, they don't normally anyway, I don't think I've ever seen any bikes for sale in there. They are just uh, parts and accessories. Right, chain and sprocket acquired. Now to get it fitted. Well, the bike fired up okay, so uh, I'm not sure what uh, the issue was first thing. Keep an eye on that. Well, according to the clock I've just passed, it's five past 11. Uh, the place I'm taking the bike to to get done is opposite a pub, which opens at 11, so I can go in there and kill some time. Unfortunately, no beers allowed, but uh, oh, it's too early for that, really, isn't it? <laughs> uh, soft drinks and um, might I get a burger or something. Early lunch. Okay, that is not bad at all. Less than an hour it took. <laughs> I've literally just finished, just finished my lunch in the pub, and I got a call saying it's ready. I was <laughs> expecting it to be at least another half hour, because he did. When I dropped in, he did say there's a scooter on the go at the minute, and then yours is next. So I thought, okay, well, <laughs> yeah, might be looking at about an hour and a half wait time. But no. 
All done, less than an hour. Brilliant. Oh, that feels better. Now this has worked out a bit cheaper than last time for me because uh, last time I went to Sussex Rolling Road and they supplied the part and did the fitting uh, and the total was 140 something I seem to remember. Uh, this time round I've gone and bought the bits myself and they've just done the labour and uh, in total that's worked out to 125 quid. So uh, can't really complain at that and hopefully next time it'll be even cheaper because uh, I'll do it myself. But it's good to have the peace of mind now. It's uh, it's done. I'm going to be good for a load more miles now. Uh, it's one one thing I haven't got to worry about on the Svengali ride this weekend. I'd hate to have to break down on that. But no, we should uh, we should be all good now. So looking forward to uh, to the weekend. All right, I'll make it nice and hard for you and go uphill. <laughs> Go for it. Ah. Well everyone, welcome to the Svengali Memorial Ride 2016 from Whiteways Cafe over to Canberra Sands.